Welcome to this Pygame tutorial. In this video we're going to explain the code um, that tells us how we can detect when a user presses a key. So the two examples so far have used raw inputs as just a way of pausing the program but it's not great because you have to um, click on the, the Python console window rather um, than the, Py, um, the Pygame window. Um, so we want to learn how you can detect um, user input one key at a time with the Pygame window selected. So if we have a look at the code, you'll notice we've got the Pygame module imported, but we're also using the random library because this, um, this program, whenever you press a key, it will randomly choose a color um, until you press escape or Q. So um, I've defined a function here called wait for key. Um, and all that does is it, um, it pauses the program until the user presses any key um, and then when the user does press a key it returns a value and the value is the key code for the key that they pressed. So if they press K um, then this function wait for key will return the key code associated with the K key um, so that you can um, do whatever you want to do when the user presses K. So the program starts are fairly similar to the previous examples. We set up a Pygame window, 400 pixels by 300 pixels high. Um, and then we set up a little loop. So we start off with a variable called looping, which is a Boolean um, set to true to begin with. And we loop round whilst looping is true. So all the stuff that's indented underneath it, down to here, is going to keep looping until we deliberately change looping to be false instead of true. Then this is when we use the random library, so we've got a variable called red, green and blue and we're choosing a random integer, a random number between 0 and 255. So if we choose a random amount of red, a random amount of green and a random amount of blue, we should have a completely random um, colour. Then we fill the screen with those um, random colours, so we use the red, green and blue variables and we've got to flip the display to update the display. Then we call this function that we defined a little bit earlier. So let's move up so we can see. So this is the function definition. We've defined it um, here. And we call that function down here. So we're saying um, call that function as in wait for a key to be pressed. And whatever key is pressed, we're going to save the value in a new variable called key. Then we've got a little bit of conditional logic. We're saying if the key and um, is the Q key, or if the, the key that we pressed is the escape key. And notice there's some constants in here that are defined in Pygame. Um, so it wouldn't work if we did if the key is um, Q, um, because the value is a, um, is a number, is an integer, and all those integers are already defined in Pygame. So they've just got a K underscore in front of the, the letter. So if we do press escape or Q, then it sets looping to be false, which will break out of our loop um, so that the, um, the game will finish. So let's have a look at this function. What this actually does is whenever we want to wait for a key, um, Pygame has an event system. And, and normally, if you're making a, a game with any animation, um, you wouldn't handle um, keyboard presses like this. But this is just a quite simple way that lets you um, block the program, pause the program until the user presses a key. So that's what this does. We're saying wait until an event happens. An event might be that the user moves the mouse or they press a key or they try and close the program, um, anything like that. And we're saving the details of that event into E. But um, there are lots of different events. It could be that the user's moved the mouse and we only are interested in key down events as in when the user presses the key down. Um, so we're saying if the type of the event isn't, that's what the um, exclamation mark equals means. So if the type of the event isn't when the user presses a key, um, then we want to loop around and wait for another event. But also, if the user tries to close the graphics window, that will generate a pygame.quit event. And if that happens, um, I, we need the program to close. So I've just said, um, assume that the user's pressed um, escape and break out of this function. Okay. Um, otherwise, um, we keep looping around until the user uh, presses a key and we return whatever key that they've pressed. 